Today is Wednesday, March 25th. We're at SEM headquarters in Westboro, Massachusetts. Today we're going to demonstrate the functionality of the SEM Model 2 SSD solid state destroyer. We're going to destroy a variety of media as demonstrated on this table. We're going to destroy it individually, capture the particle, and save it in a bag, and then seal the bag in an envelope. The material will be destroyed by the SEM project engineer. His name is Kurt Newcomb. We're going to introduce now Kurt Newcomb. He's our project engineer. He's going to show the operation of the machine, simplistic startup procedures, He's going to feed the machine, and then capture the waste particle and bag it. Once it's bagged, we'll put it into a sealed envelope. Kurt's now going to start up the machine, and then we're going to start shredding the first media, which is USB thumb drives. So Kurt, show us the simplicity of starting the machine. Simple one button. That one button starts the machine, as well as the filter. And now all we need to do is start shredding. So Kurt, grab the uh, USB drives and start shredding. We're going to now uh, shut the machine down. Once it's shut, Kurt will press the stop button. And however, the machine will continue. It's a time shutdown. Uh, the reason for the time shutdown is to allow the machine to continue to cut whatever residual media is still in the cutting chamber at this particular point. It should, should shut down in about 30 seconds. With the machine now off, uh, Kurt will remove the shredded particle from the bin in the waste collection area. We've uh, gathered the particle into a corner. And to give it a better perspective, we put a uh, piece of white paper underneath the particle and spreading, spreading it out. Again, this was uh, USB thumb drives. And what we'll do now is uh, take the particle and put it into a small bag. And then we'll take the bag and put it into a, an envelope that will be sealed and sent to the customer. Okay, here's Kurt just going to put the particle into a small bag. Each bag is labeled. It identifies the, uh, the device that was destroyed, the date, 
and uh, Kurt's initials will be on the bag to demonstrate that he was the young man who uh, actually performed the shredding. That particle now will be put into a uh, sealed envelope. As you can see, both the uh, envelope and uh, the bag of uh, shredded material are together, and he'll seal that. Why don't you hold on? Okay. Okay, that's now sealed to demonstrate the uh, tamper resistance that will be with the particle. We'll take all these envelopes for all the various uh, devices, and each one will have its own individually packaged shredded material inside an individually sealed envelope. Okay, uh, Kurt's now going to destroy some uh, varying size memory modules and circuit boards. You can see from here that the boards are uh, good size and then typical SIM modules and then some smaller modules that came out of uh, cameras, etc., etc. So Kurt, let's get rid of those as well. feeding the uh, circuit boards. We'll let the uh, system continue to run for a few minutes. Okay, Kurt, uh, press the stop button, and uh, the system, as it did in the construction of the uh, USB drive, will continue to run for a short period of time, clear out the cutting chamber of whatever residual material is in there. Once this time shutdown ends, we'll remove the shredded particle and bag that, label it, and seal it in the envelope as well. Okay, the shutdown is in process now. Machine is off, and Kurt will remove the uh, shredded particle. in the paper just to show the a good perspective of what the particle size looks like.
Again, memory modules, a few circuit boards. The modules were of varying sizes. Some of them came right out of cameras, all sealed. The next device that we're going to destroy are cell phones. So here's Kurt, we'll start feeding the cell phones right into the machine. Okay, the machine is shut off and we're going to now uh, remove the particle of the cell phones. Prior to shredding the cell phones, we removed the batteries, which is uh, highly recommended and something that we again recommend to do prior to destroying. The next media that we're going to destroy is some optical media. So we have a combination of some CDs and DVDs, and Kurt will feed those into the system now. Okay, uh, machine is off after it's time shut down and Kurt will now remove the shredded optical media. Again, same procedures as the other media. 
capture it in a small bag. And place the small bag into the envelope that will seal. The next media that we're going to destroy are solid state hard drives. As you can see, these are two and a half inch type drives that come out of notebook computers predominantly. Uh, we don't have too many of them, but we're going to destroy three of them right now. Kurt, beat them up. The system is now shut off and we're going to remove the solid state hard drives that we just shredded in the system. Same procedures as all the other devices. The next form of media that we're going to destroy are platters that were removed from rotational hard drives. So here they are. We're going to have Kurt start up the system. Start shredding the platters. <laughs> 